Hey guys, okay, so now I'm back and I'm going to do uh, round one, 2017 Stanley Cup playoffs, Edmonton Oilers versus San Jose Sharks. So again, let's get right back into it. So again, it's all over the place, so don't mind that. <clears throat> so San Jose has many wounded players. So from March 14th onward, the Sharks went 4-9-2 and, and fell to third in the Pacific. So I think they were fir first or second and now they're third. So during that time, San Jose lost to Joe Thornton and Logan Couture to injuries. Both say they are ready for the playoffs, so I'm assuming they'll be back for game one on Thursday, no, tomorrow, tomorrow, at 10. I hate the games that are at 10, because then it's like, I can't watch. Ugh. So Brent Burns led, led the team in scoring with 76 points in, two game, in 82 games, not two games, sorry. <sighs> Joe Pavelski scored 29 goals, and Patrick Marlowe scored 27 goals. San Jose allowed 2.44 goals per game, which is fifth in the league. Martin Jones has struggled near the end of the season, but finished with a 2.4, 2.40 GAA and 0.920 save percentage. <clears throat> Edmonton started off strong at 7-1 and 0, and have finished the season on fire 12-2 and 0 in their last 14 games. So I re I remember Edmonton starting off like like really strong, and they've also started and they also. They've also ended off like really strong, 12 2 and 0. They have the they have home ice advantage, so that's good. And yeah, <clears throat> so now Edmonton's first playoff appearance. This is Edmonton's first playoff appearance since the 2005 2006 season when they made the Stanley Cup Finals. So I wonder who they faced. I'm assuming they lost tonight. I don't even know. It always sucks. It must suck so much to make it to the finals and lose. Like I would cry. Like, I don't understand how people get over that. Like, how do you get over that? Like, honestly, how would you, like, bear the feeling? Like, oh my gosh, that would suck so bad. Especially in a game seven in overtime. That would, oh my god. So, yeah, I'm going off track. Connor McDavid led the NHL in scoring with 100 points in 82 games and found chemistry with Leon Dreisaitl, who has 29 goals and 77 points. So, they've been, like, the, the fastest or the best duo in the NHL, I've heard. Cam Talbot, I put Tablot, I can't spell, Talbot um, is 2.39 GAA and a 0.919 save percentage, my cat is still meowing here, oh my god, you guys were fed like not too long ago, Edmonton's 2.52 goals allowed per game ranked 8th in the league, Connor's last 13 games, he picked up 24 points to, to give the Oilers home ice advantage in round 1 of the playoffs, Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm like bal balancing on one leg right now. San Jose ranks fifth in five on five CF percentage at, or percent at fifty one point nine percent. Edmonton ranks sixteenth at fifty point three six. Can someone actually tell me what the hell CF percent percent is? Like I don't know what the hell. I have to look that up. Um, Connor's one point two one point two two points per game led led, led the league. San Jose is 16.7% on the power play, which is 25th in the league, so it's not good. And Edmonton is 22.9% in the on the power play, 5th in the league. Both trams, trams, both teams are 80.7% on the penalty kill. And then the average age of the Sharks roster, random, like, I find a random set about every random team. Average age of the Sharks roster is 28.8. Average age of the Oilers roster is 26.9. So everything, everyone thinks that the Sharks are going to win. Or actually, my friend just told me that the Sharks are going to win, and I was like, really? Because seeing all the stats and seeing, like, everything, like, all the injury problems, seeing how on fire... Um, the Oilers are 12-2-0 in, oh, in the last 14, so I mean, I, I think they're, they're going to win the series. Like, that's I'm going to actually be kind of sure about, because they also have home ice advantage. So I'd say they win in 5 or 6, because I don't think, I don't see, I don't see it definitely not going into a game 6 or 7. I, I, I think they'll win in 4 or 5. Or no, 4, 5, or 6. I don't, probably not 4, so 5 or 6, I'll say. But definitely not game 7, and probably not 4 games. I think San Jose will squeeze one in. So, I'll say the, the Oilers in 5 or 6. So, they'll win 4 to 1 or 4 to 2 in the series. And, yeah, that's basically my predictions. I'm not going to do any more videos until tomorrow. I'm, I better upload these in freaking order because I'm going to be like, yeah. 
Anyway, I hope you guys liked the video, and I will see you tomorrow when I do the flames and ducks. And I'm going to give you like a little sneak peek. I think the ducks are probably going to win the series. I'm not, I'm not, not going to tell you yet, because yeah, I just think the ducks will. Because they're, they're the ducks, the flames have it on fire, but still. <clears throat> yeah, so I will have to, all these videos to upload and load, or upload and freaking edit, so. Uh, fun, fun. But yeah, but bye guys, I'll see you tomorrow in my next video.